Hello everybody, welcome to Ice Metal Punk's very first YouTube tutorial. Uh, this is for Adobe After Effects, so um, it's also, it uses uh, some of the CC effects which come with After Effects, but if you don't have the registered version, uh, in other words if you're using a trial version, you'll be getting a big green X across your screen when you use these, so I suggest you pay for the full version like I did. Now, um, the effect we're going to get is a kind of warp drive effect as seen in many sci-fi films. And I'll show you a little clip, it should come up right about now. And um, what's going to happen, as you can see, is basically you get the stars coming at you normal speed as if you're you know on a spaceship and then suddenly they speed up and blur and get really bright like you're going through some kind of hyperspace or something and then they go back to normal as you drop out alright so here's how we're gonna do this first create a new composition um, any of the settings you know the settings don't really matter so uh, I'll just stick with default settings. The duration depends on what you're using it for. If you're using it for a background, you'd want to make it the length of your uh, overlaid clip. If you're using it for a title, it can be short. This is a tutorial, so I'll leave it at whatever it's at now, 11.24. So, okay. Now, basically, all we're going to need is two layers. We're going to need the layer that becomes the stars and the layer that uh, adds the blur. So first we hit layer, new, solid, and uh, make sure it's comp size, that's important, and make it white. Make sure it's white because this is going to be the stars. Uh, if you want to be creative you can pick any color you want, but this is going to be the color of the stars. So, okay. Now what we want to do is come in here in effects and search for Mr. Mercury. CC Mr. Mercury. And drag that onto your comp. Now, as we go out, you see this kind of blood effect. That's obviously not what we want. Now, first of all, one of the reasons it looks like that is because the particles are too big. So, we want to change the birth size to something like 0 0.05 and the death size to 0 so that they go out. So, you get nice small particles. Now, uh, you'll also notice they're falling down, which we don't want because stars just kind of float around. So we make the gravity zero. And already it looks pretty good, right? You get this nice kind of star effect. It looks though at the ends they kind of fade out too quickly. So we want to make the longevity something like five seconds. And we get this nice star field. Now you can do this with particular or particle world, but uh and you'll be able to get some uh nice 3D effects you know because you can actually use those in 3D whereas this is just 2D but for most purposes this should be fine and particles tend to be slower to render so if you just want to do a quick background or a quick title sequence whatever this is good for you okay so we've gotten the star field now what we want to do is we want the hyperdrive effect where everything blurs and everything gets brighter now the reason everything gets brighter is because theoretically we're moving so fast that we're hitting more stars at once. So during the hyperdrive we want more stars to appear. So what we do is come in here, let's say we want to start hyperdrive at about 4 seconds. We want to hit on a birth rate. Hit the stopwatch to keyframe it. And what that does is it says that one, uh, I suppose it's one star per frame or something is the birth rate now we come over to about five seconds because we want it to kick in at five seconds to be full speed we bump this up to about twenty looks good all right and then we get all these stars in the center and it looks like we're hitting a bunch of stars now this doesn't look good without the blur but it'll look better once we add the blur trust me and then we want it to start slowing down to normal speed at about seven seconds so we hit 
uh, come in here, hit U to come into the effects, keyframe it at 7 seconds, and slow down fully to normal speed at about 8 seconds, so I bring this back down from 20 to 1 for the birth rate. So we get this effect where we're just kind of slowly moving through the star field, then we get a bunch of stars at once, and then it slows back down to normal. Now, the key to making this look like speed instead of just a crap load of stars shooting at you is the blur. So what we want to do, we don't want to just blur the stars. We want to come in and create an adjustment layer for the blur. The reason we do this is because if you're trying to convey the sense of speed, everything needs to be blurred. So if you have anything else in here, like text or graphics or even footage, you'd want that to blur along with the rest of the stars. So you blur the adjustment layer and anything you put between the stars and the adjustment layer will be blurred accordingly. And that'll convey a realistic sense of speed. So, you have this adjustment layer. Now what we want to do is radial blur. So we search for radial blur and come in and take CC radial blur. Now, the amount. You could manually go in and keyframe the amount to change the blur at every you know keyframe that we have for birth rate but an easier way that'll make it a lot easier when you go in to uh, change some settings around is to actually link the amount of blur to the birth rate of the stars so that the more stars there are the faster the the more the blur will go and it'll automatically seem like you're going the right speed so how we do that is alt click on the stopwatch for amount and that lets us input an expression here. So then we pick whip this expression to the star's birth rate. And this will make the amount of blur automatically match the star's birth rate. Now, there's a slight problem. It's very slight, but it, if you really want this to be a good effect, you're going to need to know about it. And that is the birth rate goes from 1 to 20. Now, I've been playing with this, and it seems when you want to hit maximum speed, the best blur is actually 100. I'm sorry, it's actually 100, not 20. So a good way to get this to work and still go smoothly is to use the linear function. And what that does is, technically it does a linear regression, but all that means is that it projects um, one scale onto another. In this case, the birth rate scale goes from 0 to 20, oh, I'm sorry, 1 to 20, and we want the blur to go from 0 to 100. So we hit 1, 20, 0, 100. And what that does, like I said, is it takes this and takes the 1 to 20 scale of the birth rate and projects it onto 0 to 100 so that when the birth rate is 1, the blur is 0 because that's when we're moving slowest speed. And when the birth rate is 20, which is a maximum, this will hit the maximum blur of 100 and it will automatically do everything in between. Now as you can see that doesn't look very good. I mean it could be interesting for other effects but it's not really what we want. So the reason for that is simply because the type of radial blur is not what we want. It's under scratch right now but what we want is any of these three. We want to zoom. Straight zoom, fading zoom, and centered zoom all work about the same with just slight differences. I like fading zoom, but you can pick whichever one you want. And there we go. We now have our fully functional warp drive. And, uh, you know, you could use this for whatever you want. Um, maybe stick some text in there and make it like a title sequence. I don't know. Warp. like that. And then like I said, you put the text between the adjustment layer so that it gets blurred as well. And you get this effect. Alright, that's my first After Effects tutorial. I may do more, I don't know, but hopefully this is helping people out.